One of the most exciting Action Man toys ever made was the Red Devil Parachutist, and the play value incorporated into this set was matched only by the Action Man Deep Sea Diver. So in this video, we're going to skydive into the history of Action Man's airborne forces. We'll discuss the origin of Action Man's working parachute, and highlight all the different versions that were available back in the day. Yet for anyone who played with these toys in childhood, you'll remember that the tantalising concept of a parachuting Action Man never really worked quite well. So I've also driven out to a top secret landing zone in the remote Pilbara region of Western Australia, where we're going to hook a Valiverse Action Force figure up to a drone, and attempt what could be the world's first parachute jump using one of these action figures. Desert Rat will be the trooper conducting this mission today, because it's about damn time he earned his parachute rings. And because, well, I've got spares. This is also one of the most ambitious videos I've ever made, as we'll be filming today with no less than four different cameras. Can Desert Rat survive the altitude? Can he survive the landing? Will I be able to find him when he does land? Well, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. Come with me, toy fans. Hey, toy fans, my name is Tony, and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Action Man was Palatoy's flagship boys' toy line from 1966 to 1984. And while this renowned British toy manufacturer was incredibly inventive, it wasn't Palatoy's designers that actually came up with the idea of a working parachute for Action Man. Some very early release outfits did come with a parachute pack, but these were simply fabric simulation packs with no parachutes included. But all that changed when the concept of a working parachute was developed by Hasbro for their hugely popular range of G.I. Joe action figures, with the first example being issued to the G.I. Joe fighter pilot in 1967. At that time, there was a lot of cross-pollination of ideas between Hasbro's G.I. Joe and Palatoy's Action Man. For example, Palatoy created the concepts of realistic hair and gripping hands, which were then introduced into the G.I. Joe toy line, whereas Hasbro developed the innovations of talking figures and moving eagle eyes that were then adopted by Action Man. Yet when one of these companies developed a new uniform or equipment set, it typically underwent some kind of modification when it crossed the Atlantic. And in true Palatoy style, they took the G.I. Joe fighter pilot and made it balls out British by transforming the set into the Red Devil Parachutist. The Red Devils are the British Army's parachute display team, and each member is a regular serving paratrooper from one of the four battalions of the Parachute Regiment, who have all volunteered to serve on the display team. Every Red Devil is highly trained in a multitude of skydiving and parachuting skills, making them the perfect addition to the Action Man toy line. This is a fairly simple Action Man outfit, consisting of a red jumpsuit, a helmet and goggles, a red, white and blue parachute with harness, and a reserve chute that is worn on the front of the body. The badge of the Parachute Regiment is also proudly worn on the left breast of the jumpsuit. With this set being released in the UK in 1968, this box example is also one of the oldest packaged Action Man uniforms that I have in my collection. Unfortunately though, the Action Man Red Devil had one major drawback. It didn't work very well, as Palatoy's chief toy designer Bob Breakin explains in this clip. But when the kid got hold of the parachute, of course, they did not really have the strength to throw up in the air. <laughs> Action Man's parachute can work, but the key to a successful jump is altitude. When a child threw Action Man up in the air, he never gained enough height to give his parachute the ability to fully deploy in time. So many of us resorted to throwing him out of the bedroom window. But that didn't quite work either. This is why I wanted to attempt this feat today, by deploying a Desert Rat figure from a drone. It's been a long time studying Google Maps yesterday to make sure I found the right secluded spot where I wouldn't be disturbed and look like a weirdo playing with an action figure with a parachute. And uh, as we get closer, I think this spot's going to look really good. That map recon, that, that certainly worked. This is a great spot. The reason I'm using a Valiverse Action Force figure for this parachute jump is because firstly, I don't want to damage any of the vintage Action Man figures I have in my collection. And secondly, because the DJI Mini Pro 4 drone has a maximum payload of around 240 grams, which just isn't quite enough to lift a full-sized Action Man figure complete with parachute. But it is enough to lift a Valiverse Action Force figure. In 1970, Palatoy issued Action Man with the Parachute Regiment uniform, yet this set didn't come with a working parachute. And because the red, white and blue parachute issued to the Red Devil was not really suitable for combat operations, Palatoy also offered up a separate equipment set to complement this new uniform. 
The Action Man parachute equipment set came with an army green coloured working parachute, a parachute pack and harness, a pair of goggles and a paratrooper shock helmet that was unique to this set. Due to the combat ready colour of this parachute, this is the version I opted to use for Desert Rat's first parachute jump. However, because this vintage Action Man set is very rare and highly desirable, I left my vintage version back in the studio and used an Action Man 40th anniversary reproduction parachute for this mission. Studying all of this scaled down British Army parachute equipment has also brought back a lot of memories of my own experiences with military parachuting. I completed the British Army parachute course at RAF Bryars Norton in the summer of 2004. During that course I was trained in exiting an aircraft, how to fly a parachute and various landing techniques. I earned my parachute wings after successfully completing four jumps and would go on to conduct multiple other parachute jumps throughout my career in a whole host of different locations around the world. Palatoy was very aware that the original Red Devil parachute did not work very well under kid power, so in 1974 they released a new and improved parachute to accommodate this outfit. This new chute was significantly larger than the original and was manufactured from a single piece of orange coloured silk. Later in the decade Palatoy also offered this new working parachute and pack without the addition of the Red Devil outfit and they renamed the set Skydiver. On the Red Devil, that was extremely good because I had a, a lot of clear domes made which I issued out to the reps so that the in-store they could very easily set up a window display. After these domes, figures on the top, you got a nice big window. The final Action Man parachutist was released in 1983 and it's one of the coolest of the lot. The SAS parachute attack set was fully loaded with equipment including a webbing harness, an M16 rifle, a high altitude helmet complete with oxygen mask and a newly designed parachute that was now manufactured from a thin black vinyl material. With its sleek all black colour scheme this represents the first Halo styled Action Man parachute set and it remains a personal favourite. While this SAS version may have been the last working parachute issued to Action Man several other paratrooper uniforms were available in the line such as the German paratrooper and these look so much better once you equip them with the parachute harness. In fact recently I received the very kind gift of an Action Man Israeli paratrooper uniform from a supporter of the channel named Evander. This particular airborne soldier was never released in the United Kingdom in the 1980s and was only available in France, making it quite difficult to find today. Palatoy also produced a couple of smaller scale working parachutes for their Action Force toy line, but before we take a look at those let's see what's going on back at the top secret landing zone. In order for Desert Rat to deploy once he reaches his jump altitude I also needed to acquire a payload airdrop system for this drone and once his chute was secured and attached to the drone it was time for takeoff. For his first jump I took Desert Rat up to an altitude of 30 meters and in the 1 to 12 scale that's the equivalent of around 360 meters or just shy of 1200 feet. Desert Rat was then ready for the green light to initiate his first parachute jump and this is where the payload airdrop system presented a serious risk that I had not foreseen. To activate the system and drop the payload the pilot needs to rotate the aircraft above the drop zone for 10 seconds and as the drone began to spin I noticed the parachute lines started to get tangled. For the first wave of the new Action Force toy line released in 1982 Palatoy produced the US paratrooper with a working parachute and this was a scaled down version of the 12 inch Action Man paratrooper although his taller predecessor was another member of Action Man's airborne forces to not be issued with a parachute. For paratroopers lieutenant, we're supposed to be surrounded. Palatoy then followed this up in 1983 with a scaled down version of the SAS para, codenamed Sparrowhawk and you'd think with these figures being so much smaller they'd be much easier for a child to throw up in the air but they still didn't work very well because they had no weight behind them. Now since Action Man and the original Palatoy Action Force have all earned their parachute wings it's time to finally achieve this feat with a modern 6 inch scaled Action Force figure. And if this parachute jump is successful I suggest we start a petition to try and get Valiverse to produce a working parachute for the modern Action Force toy line. So we're out here in this really remote landing zone in the middle of uh, the Pilbara region of Northwest Australia and Desert Rat is about to catch a ride with a DJI Mini Pro 4 drone. This is something I've wanted to do ever since I was a kid when I used to get the Action Man parachutes, throw them out of the window, they never really worked very well. 
Here we're going to try and deploy Desert Rat from his parachute, from his vintage Action Man parachute, and see if he can survive the jump. Here we go. Take off. Thank you all for watching and make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more awesome content like this. This video was a hell of a lot of fun to make and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Cheers.